Hello guys, this is Siddharth Rakka and welcome back to your own channel Explore Electronics and today we are going to talk about piezoelectric transducer. If you have not seen my previous videos of transducer then go and see that video. I hope that will help you and before starting the video, let me give you small information. I have started making videos on digital circuits on an academy platform. So if you want any reference of that course, uh, I have given the link in the description below. So let's begin with the topic without wasting much of your and my time. Let's begin. So the first question that comes in your mind is what is piezoelectric effect? So there are certain materials that generate electric potential or voltage when mechanical strain is applied to them or vice versa. When the voltage is applied to them, they tend to change their dimensions along certain planes. Two geniuses who discovered this effect was Jackie Curie and Perry in 1880. So let's talk in detail about the working of transducers. The physical quantities like stress and force cannot be measured directly. So for that, stress or the force that has to be measured is applied along certain planes to these materials. The voltage output obtained from these materials due to piezoelectric effect is directly proportional to the applied stress or force and after that voltage can be calibrated against the applied stress or the force so that the measured value of the output voltage directly gives the value of applied stress or force. But there is a small problem that the voltage output obtained is very small and it has high impedance so to measure the output some amplifiers auxiliary circuit etc are used. So this is how an amplifier looks like. So now as you know how they work and according to my sixth sense your next question must be that which type of crystals is that. So there are some properties on which piezoelectric material should withstand like stability, high output, insensitivity to extreme temperatures and humidity and ability to be performed or machined into any shape. But none of the materials exhibiting piezoelectric effect possess all these properties. Quartz which is a natural crystal is highly stable but the output obtained from it is very small. Some more materials like exhibit piezoelectric effect like Rochelle salt, pulverized salt, ammonium dihydrogen etc. So this is how Rochelle salts look like. Now let's talk about the series of advantage that is given by a piezoelectric transducer. So number one is high frequency response. They offer very high frequency response that means the parameter changing at very high speed can be sensed easily without any delay of time. Number two is high transient response which means it can detect the events of uh, in microseconds and also give the linear output. Okay. And number three is the rigidness that piezoelectric transducers are small in size and have rigid construction. So we can say that they are having a rigid figure which is very helpful for us to determine the output. Everything comes with pros and cons and few disadvantages of piezoelectric transducers is number one is output is low which means the output obtained from the piezoelectric transducer is low so external electronic circuit has to be connected. Number two is high impedance and the piezoelectric crystal have high impedance so that they have to be connected to an amplifier and an auxiliary circuit which have the potential to cause error in measurement and number three is design giving a design shape to a crystal which is a tough challenge in piezoelectric structures now there are few applications of piezoelectric transducers and that's why they are prominently used so starting with number one it is dynamic measurements as they are more useful for dynamic measurements so they are used in that area number two is high speed phenomena they can be used for studying high speed phenomena like explosion and blast waves. They are also used in aerodynamic shocks, tube works and seismograph. Number three is measurements of stress and force. It is used with strain gauge for measurement of force, stress and vibration. And number four is automation companies. The automation companies use piezoelectric transducer to detect detonations in engine blocks. And like this, there are several applications available for piezoelectric transducers so guys that's all for this video i hope you learned something new and if your answer is yes then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more stuff 
like this and don't forget to check the course on digital system i have given the link in the description it would be helpful for you and thank you so see you in the next video